was less about the fame and glory of having the business, it was the technological challenge. Seahorse was born coincidentally. Seahorse was not the initial intent. We were working on application for cats and dogs. And Jessica, who is another company founder, convinced all of us at the office to pivot toward new idea. My first impression of Peter, I was honestly a little bit intimidated by him, you know, being a very seasoned business person. Coming into my college class, you know, we're all like bright eyed and bushy tailed and eager to get out there and having this like seasoned Blackberry ex scientist in the room, it was it was intimidating. But when I read about everything that the product did that they had already, it it just seemed like a no brainer to me. I guess maybe because I'm tainted because I am a worse person that um, it was just like like I didn't understand why they weren't doing that already because there was so many outlets for it and it could be so helpful. For me, I was like, why would you like cats and dogs? Why? This needs to be for horses. People have tried for a very long time and none of them was successful. Horse as animal, as a living creature, it's extremely difficult to give away vital signs, the reading vital signs of the horse. It's A, it's a mystery and B, it's something that Technology has a very difficult time extracting. So for me, it was simply millions of horse owners saying, well, I wish I could scan horses' heart rate or respiratory condition, but I have to do it manually and I don't know how. So the need was there, but the piece of technology has not been designed. So I took on this challenge thinking that it would be very nice to accomplish this, to have customers and have a satisfaction that we are the first company that has done this successfully.